All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, not quite so entertaining, but very educational video from Mr. Ewart's classroom. I hope you all had a great spring break. I did, and uh, I know some of you went places and some of you didn't, but uh, it is back to school pretty quick. So here we are, we're gonna talk about probability today. Now, you can't see my whole screen. For example, right now, I'm now off the screen. That's because this isn't a video for Creepers Online, this is a video for my students. If you're my students, you should have your textbook open and you should be able to see what I am referring to. So let's get to it. We're going to talk about a few different ways to represent probability, but first I want to do a quick review of you guys, so get your show me boards ready. All right, uh, we're going to have to convert a little bit. We ready? Okay. We're going to have to convert a little bit between decimals and fractions uh, for this. And so I just want to do a quick exercise with you. Can someone read that for me? Yes. Norbert. 25 hundredths? I like the way you said that. Can someone tell me a different way that they could read the same thing? I like that 25 hundredths, yeah. A quarter of a whole. A quarter of a whole? Cool. All right. So we've already got 25 hundredths, and then we've got uh, a quarter of a whole, or I could say just one quarter like that. Could come. Okay. Excellent. Does anyone say 0.25 or any 0.25s? I'm always a 0.25 guy. So yeah. Or if you're a miserly guy from Boston, you would say it's a quarter. So it's just fun to say it like that. I don't know. Now people from Boston are like, ooh, I'm so putting in the comments. Okay. All right. You know, and if you want to make fun of us, well, then you can make fun of my mid Canadian accent, eh? And then you can make fun of me for that. Just don't make fun of the Jets or I'm going to have to like pop out and monitor right at you. Okay, so 0.25 or 2,500. I like this one. This is great. 2,500. It's kind of easy to change it from this to that. And I, I like the quarter too because it is a quarter of a whole. Is this a quarter of a whole? It is. It is. So let's run with that. If, if this equals that, how about you write it like this there. Write it like this there. We have 25 hundredths here. What can we write here? And can you put it in hundredths? Yes. Put it in hundredths. Yes. Just think it. Yeah. I see your boards. Very nice. Thank you, Gertrude. Jeffrey's thinking. Jeffrey's thinking. What's Jeffrey got? Good? We good? All right, I, there you go. So it's pretty easy. Wait a minute. But he said 50. That, that, that's five. Ten. Oh, five tenths. And five tenths is 50 hundredths. Does that change the balance? No. No. Okay. Now that we've proved that we're ever so smart and that spring break didn't dumb us right down, we're going to get right into it. So, those of you watching this video wondering what's just a little off to the side, you should go grab the textbook. Our problem here says, at the pet store, Mel buys 100 biscuits for her dog, Ping Ping. She buys 75 beef flavored biscuits, 15 cheese flavored biscuits, and 10 chicken flavored biscuits. The clerk puts them all in one bag. That's kind of a mean clerk. What do you think? How are you going to tell the difference? And when she gets home, May takes the bag. Try to pull out Mel at the beginning. May takes the bag and pulls out one biscuit. So let's break this down because I've already forgotten the numbers. We've got 75 beef. Is that 75 beef? Okay. 75 beef flavored biscuits. We've got 15 cheese flavored biscuits. And we've got 10 chicken flavored biscuits. She pulls one out of the bag. I'm going to pause the video. I want you to think about this. What are the odds of her pulling out a certain biscuit? So let's try what are the odds of pulling out a beef biscuit, a cheese biscuit, and a chicken biscuit? All right. We were thinking about this. One thing, uh, I think it's 100% chance that the dog's going to salivate. So that's for sure. Does anyone have a dog here? 
Yeah. Does it go like totally crazy when you have treats? Yeah. 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 We had put things as decimals and as hundreds and stuff. So let's talk about beef. How many biscuits are in this bag? How many? Hold it up. 100. 100. There's 100 biscuits in that bag. How many of those biscuits are beef? 75. 75. So we got 75 out of 100 times. She reaches in 100 times. 75 times. There's going to be a beef attached to that. So what's this as a decimal then? If I got 75 hundredths. Can you write that as a decimal? I'm seeing a few scratching them out on their pads there. You got it. You got it. You got it. I think you got it. Where is it? Oh, yeah, you got it. Awesome. So that is 0.75. If I get 75 out of 100 on a test, what percent did I get on that test? 75%. And there is our final equal, equal, equal. Those are all the same, same, same. So wait, 75% chance I'm gonna pull out a beef? What percent chance I pull out a cheese? Or 15 over 100, or 0.15. What are the odds I pull out a chicken? 10%? Or, or 10 out of every 100 times? Very good, very good. So if I've got the beef, here's the beef. If I got the cheese, 15 out of 100 times I'm gonna pull that out, or 15 hundreds, or 15%, and I'm not gonna bother with the chicken. I think we all get the deal. All right, let's go on. How many people are already going, okay, I'm gonna wrap this up with a bow this week, it's no problem. Why not? Okay. Good, so I should give you a pop quiz tomorrow. Ah, uh, no. Okay, okay. let's go. Okay, let's go. Do this. All right. Sam buys a box of different flavors of food for, yes, Miss Halgatha. Oh, yes, you can have your board. Are you sure? But it's really smart, and I like smart things. Okay, can I erase it? Okay, because it just brings me such excitement to destroy the smart work of others. It makes me feel like a big man, you know? I'm just kidding. Thank you for letting us use your board and seeing all your intelligence up online. Sam buys a box of different flavors of food for his cat. Oh, it's Canadian stuff. Isn't that wonderful? In a box, there's 14 packs of fish flavor. Okay, wait a minute. 14 packs of fish flavor. There's two of chicken. There's four of beef. Sam takes a packet out of the box without looking. What are the odds of him getting a chicken flavored one? I want you to write the answer. What do you think? What is the odds of having a chicken flavor? I'm going to think out loud while some of my students think about this. Especially Otto there. Otto's always thinking. Here we go. How many possible, like, how many pieces do we have total? 18? Here's a bit more. 20. We've got 20 pieces. We got 14 fish, two chicken, four beef, so it's 20 pieces. Now he's gonna pull out a packet. What are the odds he pulls out the chicken from the bag? Okay, I'm looking here. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. What else we got? Nice, you even turned it into a percent. Just got three ways there. Yes! from the back row, thank you, sir. So there's 20 possible outcomes, and two of those outcomes are chicken. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so two of them are chicken, but there's 20 in the back. This is the total in the back. This is how many I could pull up that are chicken. So two out of 20 times, if I pull up one, two, three, 20 times, twice, it's gonna be chicken. And then I saw someone do this. Yeah, 
So look at that. They simplified the fraction. They saw the fraction. They saw they could divide top and bottom equally. Got to one tenth. So that means like there's a one in ten shot. You're pulling out a chicken packet, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah. Wait. Couldn't I just say like that? I could. Is that the same? That's the same. Okay. But now I need a percent. What's one in ten is a percent? That's ten percent. And if you're not sure, we could always just go like this and try to turn it into something over a hundred. It's really easy to make a percent when you turn something over a hundred. And to do that, I'd have to go same top and bottom. And that would give me ten out of a hundred, or ten hundreds, or ten percent. Perfect. I like the chart. Like it. I like these charts. I see kids. If you you know you see them and they're doing this stuff, they're going. Look, there it is. One, two, three. Can I show yours, Mister? One, two, three. Let's see. Oh wait, they're all waiting. Quick. Here we go. And there's more. They got a one, two, three. These kids are showing off their stuff. It's good. I like it. All right. So I see you can convert from a fraction to a decimal to a percent. And I can see that you're starting to get represented these ways. Now right here, this shows where kid got two over 20, that there was 20 pieces and two of them are chicken. But what they did, they turned it into something over 100 so that they could figure out that percent real easy peasy, just like we did on the board. And everything in this textbook that I just did, it's all right there in the textbook. So if you're at home, you got the video, you got the book, you can go, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I still, I don't get how Mr. Ewart did it. Look in the book, or oh, now I get it. Or maybe you don't get the book, look at Mr. Ewart and you might get it. I'm gonna skip on through these because we're doing the same over and over again. For example, look at this, it says, 25 cans of soup were put in water and their labels came off, uh-oh. There's two cans of chicken, four cans of celery, five cans of vegetables, six cans of mushroom, eight cans of tomato, one can is open, what's the probability that it's chicken? Well, once again, how many cans are there? That goes on the bottom. How many cans of chicken? That goes on the top. You're already well on your way. And so if I look there, I got two, four, that's six, 11, 17, 25 cans in total, and two of them are chicken. I guess the odds of opening a chicken are two over 25. Four. Who can do it fast? What Four. percent is that? 40. 40%. Two over 25. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. Let's work it out. 40. I got two over 25. 40. So how much is that over 100? Uh, eight. 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 That's right. That's eight percent or decimal zero eight for eight hundredths or eight percent. All right, we did that last one real quick. So if you're going, what? And you're hanging out with mom and dad, and they're like, what? Then come in tomorrow. I probably have a morning break. I, uh, I love hanging out and doing math stuff because, well, hey, I'm a nerd, so there you go. <laughs> now you guys can take that, put it as a sound bite, and make it a notification on your phone, I'm a nerd. It'll be great, all right? So if you take a look, these questions are just like the examples we did. They're gonna have all these questions where someone throws things into a bag and pulls them out, et cetera, and then you'll be able to tell me the real probabilities. If you have trouble, talk to a friend, talk to a grade eight, come talk to me, go check out these videos, or go look up that math antics guy. He's real, real smart, I like him lots. Good to go? All right, let me pause the video and then you can get up. Pause.